Hi, John with eTrailer. Today we're taking a look at the Weston Protrax Nerf Bars on our 2023 GMC Sierra 3500. Now when it comes to Nerf Bars, there are a ton of options out there. You can get them in like this, in a black powder coat finish, or you can get them in a polished stainless steel finish. You can get them either in four inch wide, like this, or five inch wide. And they come in either cab length, like this, or wheel to wheel, if you'd like something a little bit further down if you needed to access, say, stuff in your bed. Now today's trucks are just a lot bigger than they used to be. As far as I'm concerned, Nerf bars should be standard equipment at this point just to be able to get in and out of these trucks. If you don't have them, you're going to end up having extra wear and tear on the edge of your seat. Um, it just It's almost impossible to get in and out comfortably at this point. Now with the cab length model, you're going to have the same access to the rear of your cab as well. Now, these have a nice flat textured pad, will give you plenty of traction either in sandy, wet, icy, or snowy conditions. Now regardless if you get the black powder coat finish or the stainless steel, uh, one nice feature that I do like about these is that they are sealed at the ends. So that's going to prevent any moisture from getting in and having it rust from the inside out. Now, as far as installation goes, they are super easy to install. You could have these done probably in less than an hour with basic hand tools. Uh, you can save yourself hundreds of dollars by not ordering factory ones on the truck and just installing these instead. If you want to see how we did it, stick around. We'll show you. All right, so we got our 23 Sierra up here in the bay. Uh, you can do this on your driveway. We have this up so that we're going to be able to show you the shots and, and where we're going to be mounting it. But uh, we pretty much laid everything out here. Um, it comes with all the hardware. Uh, everything was well packaged. Um, even the, the plates are stamped, just to let you know up front, uh, P for passenger and D for driver's side. Um, now the Nerf bars themselves aren't stamped, but in order to tell the passenger side like this, realize that you should be able to read the Weston uh, nameplate on here. The bar should curve in, and we did notice that on the rear uh, of the bar, you're going to have four threaded inserts as opposed to the front where you only have two. I put some tape on here to give you a visual reference of where we're going to be mounting the brackets. Um, so the general location on our 23 Sierra is going to be here, here, and here. We're going to be removing um, plastic plugs from under the truck here. Now all the brackets um, are going to install the exact same way, both passenger and driver's side. We're going to start um, with the front of the vehicle. We're up here on the passenger side by the front tire. And just to remove these plastic plugs, we're going to be exposing um, threaded threaded nuts on the inside. They're weld nuts, basically. So I just used a screwdriver to open them up. You can use a screwdriver to take them completely out or a trim tool like this. So it just makes life a little bit easier. And that'll expose where we're going to be bolting our brackets in. We're going to have one on the bottom rail and then you'll see one up here as well. Now we've removed them from this location, we'll just remove them from the middle and the rear as well. Now something to keep in mind, um, the reason that this, that this bar has four inserts on the back here, um, in the instructions they'll tell you that this is the preferred location for mounting that bracket, which would be the holes closest to the step. I'm assuming that's just for to be able to help with the weight of someone stepping down on this. Now I don't know why they have another location, but if for some reason you're having trouble lining up uh, this particular location with your truck, uh, there is an alternate location further back. It would be about right here as well. Now we're going to install the bracket covers loosely on our brackets. Now hanging on the truck, they're going to be mounted like this. These bracket covers basically just cover up um, the gap in between the, the Nerf bar itself in the frame of the truck. I like them. I think it's a good idea. It's just a nicer look. Now, these will install with uh, the included hardware here. We're going to take the smaller metric six cap screws. You take one flat washer, 
and there's multiple holes on the bracket covers here, uh, probably for different applications. I noticed that uh, the furthest one here lines up the best on our truck. So it's thread, cap screw through, take a washer and a nylock lock nut and just thread it on finger tight right now. And go ahead and do this on all three for this side of the truck. Now we're going to actually hang the brackets and mount the brackets to the truck. We're going to take our metric 10 cap screws and put a split washer on and then the flat washer. And that's how I have all these arranged right here. And we'll go ahead and mount it up under the truck. We can thread the bottom one. In, and then we'll take the top one we'll thread these in loosely everything's just going to be mounted loosely right now and this will give us enough wiggle room to, to get everything nice and straight before we put the Nerf bars on. Let's go ahead and repeat that for the other two on this side. So now we'll take the button head screws that came at, supplied with the kit. We'll take the lock washer, make sure the teeth are facing uh, down towards the threads, and then your flat washer. Now these are six millimeter hex head or Allen head, and it does come with a supplied uh, tool. Now we can raise the Nerf bar up onto the mounting brackets. And again, we'll loosely put, there's two per bracket to hold this on. And I'm going to go ahead and there's two per bracket. So I'm going to finger tighten these for all three brackets on this side. I'm going to take a 13 millimeter socket and I'm going to start tightening the brackets first. I'm not really sure if it matters um, where you start, but I'm going to start in the middle here and snug up the brackets first before we torque them. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other two. Once they're all snug, we can torque them down to the specs found in our installation manual. Now with our brackets torqued to our rocker panel, we'll take the Nerf bar itself and it can be adjusted two different ways. You want it to be, of course, horizontal. Once you get it where you like it, Go ahead and torque it to the specs found in the installation manual. And finally, the last step is to tighten down our bracket covers. I found that two 10 millimeter wrenches work the best. Uh, right or wrong way to do this. This is more of a uh, of an appearance thing, so. Kind of just eyeball it, split the difference between the two and tighten them up. And don't overdo it when you're tightening these. You don't want to deform the plastic. It's, you'll know they're tight when they snug up and just start to deform back here, this plastic. They have nylock nuts on there, so they shouldn't loosen up. Now, as far as the installation goes, it really is that easy. Just go ahead and repeat these steps on the other side of your vehicle, and that's going to do it for our look at the Weston Protrax 4-inch oval step tubes on our 2023 GMC Sierra 3500.